Hello everyone, and welcome to Rain Plays Terraria Season 2, Episode 10, where we will hopefully face Cthulhu. <sighs> episode 9 just finished uploading, so... <sighs> Gotta get my game face on. You know, to be honest, I really wish they would um, add more, like, actual te technological features. Um, for example, like, uh, some sort of... I, I just gotta say this right now. Some sort of sentry, and, um, like, also some sort of healing block. Like, actual placeable block. So I can just pretty much slap it down, stand near it, regenerate health faster. I would exploit that so much, and it's like, change the uh, building sound to uh, the engine here from Team Fortress 2 saying, erect in a dispenser, or something like that. That was a horrible impression, but yeah. Alright, night time. Almost. Come on. Okay. He is not going to pop naturally. So, time to bring out Cthulhu the fun way. S standard policy applies. I die, I go into the next season. Here we go. Leroy! <laughs> of course he's gonna pull that. We should be fine. He's gonna rush me here soon. I'm calling it. Ow. Yeah. What you got? Seriously. Oh, come on, zombies, really? I have more than enough sure he can uh, take out a zombie and Cthulhu. wasn't so bad. I would actually do that. Buttons, they do nothing. Okay, 
get myself reoriented here. Take out the invading zombies. Nope, they don't auto fire crap. Almost got him. Down to half, anyhow. I think I'm gonna try and hit him in transition. Crap, no! Wrong buttons, ow. Yeah, not grenading him while he's like this. I'm not that stupid. I'm above me. Come on. Come on, man. You've only got one attack, and I've only had to use two healing potions. Nope. Denied. Yeah, I'm not making the same mistake as last round. I am not using those grenades on him. total used. Three. That has to be one of my best Cthulhu fights to date. And I actually used like how I actually did use a few grenades. So yeah. Yeah. Cthulhu? No. Your existence means nothing. That is, to put it simply, satisfying. I, I'm, I'm being serious here. That was a satisfying round. Alright. Um, hmm. I suppose I don't need these shurikens anymore. Unless if I uh, end up going for another Cthulhu round. Those I'll probably just end up selling because I hate corruption to begin with, and I don't want eaters spawning anywhere near my house. Uh, mushrooms... Mm, I'll probably end up turning those into healing potions at some point, and toss the grenades in there as well. <sighs> Glorious. Huh. I can play Steamonite. I never knew. Alrighty. 
Anyhow, you know what would have really sucked just then? If I had... If Demon Eye could only be broken by Demon Eye. That would have been the ultimate, uh, just slaughter of my self-esteem. Now... Now the main issue, the next primary issue right there, is going to be getting the Shadow Scales and enough Demonite Ore for our next stages. Um, but our next move after this is getting, getting the Dryad, stocking up on Purification Powders, and then rushing the Corruption. I can take, I can take either of Worlds. I, he's nothing to me. Uh, however, the main issue... Um... Wow, I just completely lost track of what I was going to say. Oh well. Uh, for now, Demonite is going to become a delightful little decoration for this. Yay, pointless block usage. Um, yeah, just gonna wait for the Dryad to pop. Ah! Did not mean to... Did not mean to do that. Wait, will the Dryad pop in a uh, stone room? Or brick room? I don't remember that. Um, because I never really used... Uh, I never really used anything other than wood for my house building before this. Meh. Demonite bars going into into here for now. I'm gonna save those for the shadow set. I am going to sell the unholy arrows because I don't use a bow and I probably never will uh, in this round. About bloody time. Alright. Um, yep, there she is. Yay! So, corruption blitzing. This is gonna be fun. Purification powder. 75 copper. I can buy three on that. Yay. Um, yeah, corrupt seeds. I'm gonna need a lot of this stuff. Oh man. You know, I've never actually used the dirt rod before. Or even gotten one. Eh. Alright. Let her move in while I quickly go grab some more cash. We will be breaking two. Okay, um, yeah, I think we have enough. I, I'm not, I'm not guaranteeing that, but I think, I think we have enough, yeah. I suppose the battle cry here now is charge. 
Sorry. Um, moving on. Yeah. Corruptions vaguely this way, and why the crap did I take fall damage? Oh well. Proceeding. Ow. Okay, not ow because we didn't actually get hurt. But yeah. Got some glow sticks. Mm -hmm. First chasm is our first target. So. It's still gonna be a pain in the arse. Side note, I have scouted, um. I have scouted uh, the ends of the world with my main, uh, so I know where stuff is and what to expect in different directions. That's why we're heading this way, because I know that the first instance of corruption is around here. Our jungle is supposedly on the other side. Some random attempt to... yeah. That was just a uh, mind trap we used at some point. If memory serves. We should be hitting corruption here soon, if that's the case. Come on! There we go. Now, have to be as careful as possible with this. Because I'd like to use as few healing potions as possible. Alright, chasm. Crap, this is gonna hurt either way. Oh. You know, uh, that just, uh, nurse, yo, I'm sorry, but you can't afford me. Well, in that case, potion middle finger for you. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to cut the video and, well, no. I'm just going to keep going, I suppose. Suppose I could get to the edge of the, uh, edge of the corruption and dig in. That is an option, but... Eh, actually, that is, that's a good option uh, at this point, anyway. Uh, I wish I had a diving helmet. That water wasn't such a pain in my arse. Yeah, I'm back to this complaining round, so yeah, don't like it too bad. It, it's, it comes with the package. What all is in this package, you are probably asking? Um, a lot of things. Namely, life insurance, uh, dental... Yeah, yeah, you you guys got a pretty sweet deal. Um, yeah. I, I, yeah. Jumpy, 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 jumpy. Ooh, please don't fall damage.
This will likely end up being one of the last uh, 1. 0. 0.5 playthroughs you will ever, or that will ever be posted. Ugh, Milia. Try to speak in English here. You know, I'm starting to think I should have gotten that axe. Meh. Okay, there's a corruption. And we have natural tunnel. Ow, 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 crap. And lag. There is much lag. Light buff, go! I have no idea whatsoever where our shadow warps are. So, yeah. That's Demonite. Um, hey, why not? Grr. Can't wait until I actually have a decent pick for this. Demon Altar. I think that may be our major uh, chasm where all of our shadow orbs will end up being. Fortunately, I do have a lot of purification powder, so yeah. Why did I not aim that directly down? Uh huh. Does it even actually? No, it doesn't actually do any damage. I wish. Even though it breaks pots for some non-apparent reason. Bingo! Shadow orb visible. And jellyfish visible. And corrupted fish. What the crap? Okay. Kind of recording here. Um, sorry. Yeah, people in the background. No worries. Crap. Um, I should just use that one and slot out my next, or slot in my stone to close myself off. We have a viable entrance into the uh, Shadow Orb Zone. And glow sticks. Musket! Which means first gun, which means arm stealer. A horrible chill goes down your spine. Yeah, translation, I'm probably. Uh, but anyhow, crap, I should probably yeah. slot that musket now. Even though I have limited ammunition, it's still one heck of a weapon. Which we will use to attack corrupt goldfish. 
and eater. And more eater. Haha, second. It'll, it, it's not the best, but it'll do. Cut me some slack here, people. We're going for speed. Oh, and I will not be breaking the third shadow orb to start the fight with uh, Eater. Uh, that will be caused by... Oh, ball of hurt. Um, sorry. That will be caused by... Or, yeah, I'll be using warm food for uh, that. Um, and I do not... Oh, shice. Okay, that's not going to work. Haha, ha, gravity gives you the finger. You know, they're just going to keep coming. Um, you know, I've never actually used flail weapons all that much before. I, w I was more of a boomerang user. Crap, this is gonna suck, but... Wow, this is actually working wonders. I'm not joking. I mean, this is the best effect I've had on them early game uh, in a long time. Also, the ball of hurt seems to do the same amount of damage as uh, as the harpoon from the goblins, and has the same effect. So. Yeah, I'm not making it out at this point. Not by normal means. Got one option. Only way out is through. Well, I think we're actually close to the edge of the episode anyways, and I just hit water, so yeah. However, we do now have a location for another uh, Shadow Orb. So I'm going to cut the episode here. Actually, I'm probably just going to cut the episode with my death. No, seriously, wait for it. I'm going to clear the path in advance while I have the opportunity. There we go. Alright, safe place to cut the episode. <sighs> Alright everyone, uh, this is Rain signing off. Hello everyone, um, you know what? I just effectively said screw it, I broke the third shadow orb. Now I'm trying not to die as I face Eater in this tiny chasm. Uh, I did not... 
I did not beat him. No. And the major fight only counted for Cthulhu. But I did get what I needed. The shadow scales and more demonite. So I suppose this could count as a secondary sequence break. Um, and yes, I'm going to label it as such. Man, I can't, I can't believe I did almost actually beat Eater uh, in that limited of a space. That's 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 a good sign, to be honest. All right, uh, we have our gold pick, and I believe that I'm just going to keep the ball of hurt as my major weapon. So we've hit mid game technically now. And that, ooh, I just remembered with four, I have more, um, more available materials and so on. At this point, I'm gonna check my numbers uh, and then start farming Cthulhu for the rest of the shadow set. And by that, I mean Demonite Gear. Uh, that will all be off screen. But, yeah. Anyways, um, I figure, yeah, I'd post this as a mini side video since, since I did, in fact, go ahead and just say, oh, wow, he waited a long time um, since I did go ahead and say I'd wait for uh, the whole eater of world round or whatnot oh well anyhow um, yeah just gonna sell off some stuff real fast and call it an episode again I should probably save those worm teeth and so on to make another, uh, another, which, whatchamacallit, um, yeah, to actually make worm food so that I can go farm them. If I, so that I can go farm, uh, Eater in case if I do need him, or in case if I do end up needing more shadow scales. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, this is Rain signing off again.